Today we will be discussing high C-reactive protein levels in a simple and easy to understand way. What could be causing high C-reactive protein levels? Have you been told your C-reactive protein levels are high? Let's explore what this might mean. CRP is a marker in your blood that indicates inflammation. It's not specific to any disease and can't pinpoint the exact cause of inflammation. This could be due to infection, trauma, heart issues, autoimmune diseases, or even certain cancers. The type of CRP test matters too. There's a standard CRP test and a high sensitivity CRP test, each providing different insights. Understanding the context and your symptoms is key to deciphering what high CRP levels mean for you. When should you worry about your high CRP levels? High CRP levels can be concerning, but when should you take immediate action? If your CRP is over 100, it's usually a sign of a serious bacterial infection or less commonly, autoimmune or neoplastic diseases. This high level often Often means you're acutely ill and need prompt care. Levels between 10 and 100 also indicate significant inflammation and warrant further investigation. Even slightly elevated levels between 3 and 10 might point to low-grade inflammation due to lifestyle factors like smoking or conditions like diabetes. In any case, a high CRP level deserves attention to find the underlying cause. What test will doctors order to understand the root cause of high CRP levels? If your CRP levels are high, your doctor will likely order additional tests to get to the bottom of it. This could include comparing CRP with other markers like the erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR. They might also look into your risk factors for cardiovascular disease, especially with high sensitivity CRP tests. Remember, CRP levels alone don't give the full picture. Your doctor will consider your overall health, symptoms, and risk factors to determine the best course of action. Depending on your situation, they may repeat the CRP test to track the progress of your condition. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider for the next step.